Repeat after me. Today, when I watch this show, I will learn, develop, and gain inspiration for the rest of my peers and most importantly, myself. Today, I will gain inspiration to leave every bit of it behind me for those who need it more than ever. Please enjoy the show and gain inspiration. Thank you. episode would be containing the 2014 biggest baddest Super Bowl episode of all time okay <clears throat> now here's a question I have for all of you today who the fuck watched Super Bowl the other night on February the 2nd I sure did when the Broncos the Denver Broncos versus the Seattle Seahawks they faced off and they played one hell of a freaking game. I will admit, they both teams worked their fucking asses off. Now, the unfortunate part is in this episode today. I can't show much review of what happened because it will go on my account and then copywritten will start fucking up. So, I can only show you guys in like more of words today. Because you guys probably most of them already watched it anyways. But, my point in the matter is this. Is that people, is that the Super Bowl was awesome. You see, when I heard, when I watched the playoffs, when the Denver Broncos got in to the Super Bowl this year, right away, in my own opinion, I thought to myself, holy shit, man, this is this game. I just knew that this game, when once I knew the Seahawks and the others were playing, I knew that this game would be known and being historic of number one of Sports Illustrated. I already knew it because... <clears throat> when I seen that, it was like really awesome. I couldn't believe that two two really tough teams freaking faced off and made a great Super Bowl. I mean, all I have to say is I'm very happy that that, that happened this year. Plus, also, <clears throat> um, we all know that the victory was made, and uh, who won? It was the Seattle Seahawks. Now. You see, I made the show feeling nice so far for the first minute, but you see now, I sort of have to come from being nice and talk about the game too. How stupid the Denver Broncos were. You see, at first, I was voting on Denver to win. Right when I heard they were going into the Super Bowl, I thought, okay, fuck yeah, they're going to take the Super Bowl. I really thought they were going to do it, but no. My point was actually wrong this year. Who took it? It was the fucking Seahawks, which I'm happy because that's another good team. But what the fuck? You know, what is the use of you going into a football game when you're not even trained properly? Okay, the Denver Broncos, that was fucking ridiculous what they did in that game, okay? Their lack of skills in football were poor. As I said on a Facebook status, they should take a break for one year. One fucking year of football and train. That was the most ridiculous lack of skills I've ever seen in any football game out of any team. Okay? 43-8 to eight was not a good record for the Broncos, man. The Seattle Seahawks annihilated your asses. Peyton Manning, you're just sitting there on your ass freaking watching your team get blasted. I mean, how the hell can you just sit there? You were a big football player and a great coach. What the hell's wrong with you? I mean, come on. What is the use of going into a football game? What is wrong with football players, though? Okay, what is wrong with the football players? The five freaking W's, okay? We're gonna do this. What is football? Football is a tough sport where you throw a ball to your teammates, that includes teamwork, and then you try and make touchdowns through each of your players, and then after, what happens? You win a football game. And then you get through bigger football games until you win a trophy of some sort, okay? The Stanley Cup is in hockey. I wish it were there was one in football too, but there isn't, okay? Now, where do football games happen? They happen in worldwide, mostly into really cool arenas, okay? Now, 
When do they happen? They happen usually once a week. So regular football games, sometimes playoffs, and then every February our Super Bowl happens. Okay, we went through when, what, when, no, we went through what, when, where. Now we're going to go through how. How can, no, why do football games happen? Why? Because men love football. Just men love football, okay? Now, how can we solve this? I don't know. Coach, train your fucking team to win. What the hell is wrong with you people who are coaches and you can't even train your football team to win? You know you're going into a Super Bowl. You know you're going into it. You're not that stupid, are you? You know you're going into a football game that is really competitive for the Super Bowl. Any team that wins a Super Bowl is automatically historical. Do you understand? Historical. And I don't care what football, what the football players think of me. I don't care what the freaking coaches think of me. I am correct on what I'm saying. It's not bullshit. You should always remember to train no matter what football game you're going into. It's just a lack of skills. What kind of football team are you trying to represent to your fans out there who watch you every week? I mean, if I was in your position, I would not fucking... Um, train less for a football game. I would fucking keep training and training and training, okay? But also, besides the Broncos being stupid, but I also want to talk about football too. You see, there's a big difference in football between the two genders, between men and women. Now, in football, I noticed one thing about women. Women are the type that are not in the football. You see, now, I've heard a lot on YouTube these days from one of popular channels, my good friend Tony Martin, the Media Mart, he talked about how men get managed from women. And another guy who I watched before a long time ago, his name was Detroit One, um, I remember he mentioned about women, how they're controlling, so I'm like, okay, now YouTube is getting more bigger and they're starting to expand more topics. But, and you notice, in the last year of doing Real Talk, I've never mentioned women in any of my episodes. But, I'm going to be talking about women and men in one of my, in the next season of Season 7. Now, we're we'll talking about women in this particular moment, is women hate fucking football. Men love football. That's their favorite sport. Most of every man's favorite sport is football. No. Women, if you tell a woman you're going to watch the football game, they'll say, Oh, do you have to watch that fucking shit all the fucking time? You know, football is so stupid. All you do is wear fucking tights, slap each other on the fucking asses, and throw the ball in the fucking air. You see, women can't stand that, okay? They just hate that. You see, women, women expect you to do what they want. Like Tony Martin said, they want to manage, and that is true on what he said. They do love to manage, okay? But listen, you can try and manage any man you want with anything, but don't ever manage a man when it comes to football. The one thing a man loves besides his wife, besides his kids, besides his job, besides anything else he does as a man, do not ever take away a man's fucking football game. Do not. A man's football game is something that a man loves to watch, a man gets into. Do you ever, don't you ever notice when you watch a football game, a man will sit there, and then when his team wins, he'll go, yeah! Or he'll even do that if his team loses too. It's just the way we are. We just love football. Okay, football is just our favorite sport. One of our favorite sports. No matter if you're black, white, green, anything. You just love football as a man. And a woman is sitting there telling you you shouldn't watch it. Well, I mean, no respect to women, but... Why do you guys get to control us? Why can't we control you with some things, huh? No disrespect, but I'm telling the truth. Why can't we tell you not to watch your little um, sad little soap operas on television? Why can't we tell you that you shouldn't watch this because it's stupid? Well, watch, guys. You know what I'm trying to say here. If we say to a woman to turn off that soap opera we think it's stupid, they would probably end up smacking us in the face and they'll make us feel horrible that we're bad men. Well, if you if you guys feel that way, why do you want to tell a man to turn off his football game? Because that's something he also enjoys also. Right? That's a question that people should actually ask themselves. 
what I think is, is that as a man, if you want to watch a football game and you know your wife is watching a soap opera, just go upstairs or go downstairs watch your t watch your football game. Or if a woman knows that uh, her husband or boyfriend is watching a football game, do the same thing. You know, neither no one should tell each other not to watch something they don't like to watch. You know. I mean, if a woman likes to watch her soap opera, she likes to watch her soap opera. So if a man loves to watch fucking football, he loves fucking football. There's no point in the matter of arguing about it, okay? But as I'm trying to tell you, do not <coughs> take a man... No, do not tell a man to not watch football. Because it's true. Do not tell a man not to watch football. Because they're not going to listen. Right away when you say it to him, you're like... That's like, so what they're going to say. Right? And if you tell a woman not to watch soap opera, they'll go... Uh. That's what I'm trying to say. It's fucking stupid. But that's just the way life is these days. But anyways, guys, I gotta get going now. <clears throat> that was my review talk of the Super Bowl. That was my way of talking about football and about how men love football. So, as I say to all of you, you know what I'm gonna fucking say. If you do not like the way why I present this show, if you do not like this show, get the fuck off this show right now. But if you do love this episode, watch, comment, like, subscribe, and gain inspiration. Take care. Adios, amigos. Did real talk inspire you today? Well, everybody, if it inspired you and you have a problem that you have at home or anywhere at all that you need help dealing with, please, everybody, do not have an issue with the please. If you want to call me directly to let me know your problem and I can give you some help with it, please give me a call at my number right here where it says 647-741-0621. Or if you rather email it to me because you rather do it by the technical social media way, please email me at gpbes austin bullock at outlook.com. Okay? Now, anytime you have a problem, please don't forget to email me or call me. Thank you guys. Have a great day and see y'all next week for Real Talk. Bye.